Welcome to this video. My name is Eva and in this video I talk about um, the past year. I mean there's still some time to go but just so many things have happened and I really hope that this video will give yeah give some hope to some people who are going through the similar things that I went through and hopefully it makes them see makes them feel seen and understood and they feel less alone and also trigger warning I'm talking about some difficult things so yeah so for me this year kind of started with starting trauma therapy and it was a really difficult journey because i feel before that i was already seeing some things but there were still some things that i was in denial of and that i closed my eyes because it was just very painful to see reality for what it is and when i started kind of this trauma therapy i really had to and was allowed to see reality fully for what it is and it was very 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 painful for me and it really felt like felt like i was breaking and it felt like the world around me was breaking also and it was just this very difficult time of me being like my mental health just went downhill and of me really just trying to hold on by being in the storm and having a lot of different emotions such as grief but also anger and hate and frustration and relief and and it was just so it was just yeah it was like a storm and it was very difficult for me to to know what is happening and it, it was just a lot and I think that really influenced me a lot also as a person because I feel like during that time during those couple of couple of months i also kind of lost interest in life in a way and i became very numb and very desperate and very disappointed and just many things also they lost meaning so for example also this business that i spent so many years building on it just completely lost meaning and i just didn't see any meaning in everything anymore so it was a really difficult time and I think that's also probably for people who have never experienced that type of depression or that type of mental health um, issue, it's really hard to understand it because it's so easy to say, why don't you just be think positively? But it goes so much deeper than that and if you have yeah, just overcome a certain trauma, it's really tough on, on the mental health and to and to trying to kind of r ride the waves instead of drowning by it and it's it's a really difficult time and also for example one experience that I want to share um, because I think it really gave me also a good lesson so for example for me because I had so many emotions and it was just very exhausting to feel so many different things and and all that grief as well at one point I was just sick of it and I tried to suppress it by um by trying to work and trying to uh, overwork and all of those things but then what happened is that in the evening as soon as there was like peace and um, from one moment to the next it became really dark and really scary also and it it was really a really scary feeling and so I talked with my therapist also and then it really helped to allow myself to feel all my emotions to not numb them and over the month it got easier but I think that was such a scary experience um, that really helped me to understand that emotions they demand to be felt and you don't need to judge them they are just here and especially if you lose a certain connection that was important to you there will be a lot of grief and this emotion of grief also wants to be felt so yeah that was a really good lesson for me and it also impacted kind of my my business because as i said i didn't see any meaning in nothing anymore for me it just became pointless and senseless and there was no meaning in it anymore but that was just kind of this depression brain talking and but what is really important and what i was really grateful for was to take a break from my business also because the way that i navigated it in the last few years it was really from a not the best mental health perspective 
if, for example, I have a lot of like perfectionism that I'm now working through. But before that, I think I was not very conscious about it or probably not conscious enough about it. And so I think that with this business, I was overworking myself and it came from a point of of desperation also, of really, really wanting it so bad. Uh, to to be successful so for me taking a break from my business and focusing on my healing was a really good decision also to reframe what is important to me what is success to me what is a happy life for me and um, who am i doing this business for am i doing it for myself for the people for the animals for other people's validation and so on and so on so it was a really um interesting time to take that time off and to focus for me about on on burnout on perfectionism and burnout and on what success means to me and it was a really good thing that I took a break from my business and I want to say that because I feel like in our society at least I'm from Germany so in Germany we have a very capitalistic society and I think we have that message of like work hard and work hard and work hard and work hard but I think sometimes it's or at least that's a message that I just had but I think sometimes it's really important to take a moment and to just look around and to reflect and to think is this actually still who I am is this actually still authentic to myself how am I like how is my mental health and because at that moment when I take a break from my business my mental health was not good at all and I think that was really important for me also really important for me to reframe professionalism because before that I had a really limited limited perspective on what professionalism means for me professionalism before meant to be an expert and meant perfection and it is just very unrealistic because human beings as human beings make mistakes we are flawed we are irrational that's just what human beings are and doing our best is enough and I had a I had to switch my mindset about what professionalism means now for me professionalism is just an expertise is just having expertise in one area for example in in my case in nutrition and having that sweet spot between lived experience so undergoing that transformation but also having theoretical knowledge and to have that sweet spot was really really uh, for me encompasses what professionalism is and professionalism is not how you look like or where you're from or how you dress or what hobbies you are or also in your private life if things go always well or not so yeah so that was a really 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 important thing for me to learn and oh my god I think there's some background noise like there's always construction going on I really want to move to nature but right now I'm in a city so always construction but I hope it's not too bad and yeah so also what I really learned was and was another thing because kind of this depression really let me question everything also like who am I and what do I want to do work-wise so it was also I felt very lost in a way as well and I think that in the past years I was running away from that feeling and um, I avoided it by overworking myself <laughs> with my business and I think now I really yeah I really faced that feeling of being lost and also I tried to become friends with that feeling of being lost and I made another video about that that you can watch uh, if if that's a situation that you struggle with and some advice that really helped me but yeah that was another thing that was um difficult and also like um um trying to move to a different country was also a whole, whole new other thing maybe i will make a video about that too but one really great thing that happened to me and which was super super great was i met my boyfriend um, and he was and he is such a cool person and he supported me through everything and especially when I was feeling so low and so sad uh, he was always there for me and yeah I'm so so blessed that I met my boyfriend it's really so nice so I think that was that was kind of <laughs> the past few months uh, a lot of things happened but I think that 
And some lesson for me that I really think is super important is to keep going. Like even if everything kind of falls apart and if you're really like your heart is breaking and all of that, um, for me at least eventually it got better. Like I think if you're really at your at your low point, your brain is trying to play tricks on you and say like, hey, this will last forever. You will always be depressed, but now that I look back at it I feel so much better now and uh, don't listen to your brain just um, get yourself some help with a therapist and then you can really uh, over time get much better and now I'm just so much stronger also I have rebuilt myself on a much stronger foundation and I can now set boundaries I'm less uh, codependent and so on which I'm really grateful for so yeah it's if I think that's a really important lesson that I want to share. Like if you're at your low point and your brain tries to mess with you, don't be don't believe what your brain tells you. Just keep going and eventually it will get better, in my opinion. And some more learnings. One really great learning that I've learned <laughs> is that um, doing your best is enough because you cannot do more than your best. So if you do your best, that is fully enough. And worrying about the rest it, it it's not productive like worrying about what will happen etc if you just focus on your actions that's really all that matters and if you do your best that is enough and the rest you cannot control that was a huge learning lesson for me and also how important mental health is so for me my priority is always my mental and physical health because if i don't have that i have nothing um even like if i don't have mental health my physical health doesn't matter so really important that is kind of my priority mental and physical health and will always stay my priority and also what i've learned is that if you have so many areas that you need to focus on like for example in my case it was trauma it was being lost and redefining myself in a work context and also taking a break from business burnout perfectionism etc what i've really learned it's really you can only focus at, on one thing at a time like you and like it's really a false expectation that you have on yourself if you think that you can manage all the different areas at once and all the different problems problem kind of situations at once you are human so you can just figure out one thing after another thing and that's all you can do so that really helped me too and yeah and so i'm really really grateful that i made it out <laughs> because it was i was really at my low point um, and it was so tough and now uh, that i'm out of it i'm so grateful that i went through it because i could learn so many things from it and i'm just so grateful for life and i'm so grateful for my support system and i'm so grateful for so many different things um but yeah it was a very uh tough journey so if you're still in that phase of um of being broken or having going through grief or sadness and you don't want to keep going anymore i can just tell yourself to i can tell just tell you to keep going because it will get better um yeah so this was the video for today uh, i really hope that you enjoyed it and i'm really excited to bring you along this journey my youtube channel is really about my life and all the ups and downs and challenges that i have to face and so i'm really grateful that you're also here with me on this journey and yeah so i hope you have a beautiful day and see you in my next video if you like this video you can like it and you can subscribe to my channel and i see you in my next video